Hi everyone, I think we should be live. How are you? It's been a while since I did a live. I hope that everybody is okay. I hope that you're all doing well. Say hello as you come in. Let me put my mic on so that you can hear me well. Hi, bold, audacious mom. So happy, happy, happy um, that I'm doing live. Let me tell you, I almost didn't do this. But I thought to myself, I made a commitment um, that this, this be before the end of October, I must do this. I've been doing life elsewhere, um, but I felt I'm missing this community so much. You've been such a great support. So far, I've been able to stream the Chasing Courage conversations, um, but I still felt, oh, I'm missing you. And I thought, you know, I used to do Momentum Mondays, and I just feel like it's time for me to resume that. As long as I can, I will always show up for you. So please say hello as you come in. Um, it's not going to be a long conversation. It's just me saying hello. We had about 21 new friends who joined the page. And I just felt it's not fair on them to come to our page and then find who, who does this page belong to. We've not had her voice. And I thought um, for those who have joined, for those who have supported me all these years, that it's nice for me to show up live and just encourage you even as we begin the week. So how has your Monday started? How's your Monday so far? I'm glad to see the Nairobi sun is back. Um, although the weather keeps changing, last night it was so hot, hot, hot. Um, but we thank God because everything happens for a reason. And so as you come in, please say hi. If you're watching the replay, as always, just do hashtag replay. And um, yeah, so today I'm going to talk an, about a topic called grit. And I have a friend of mine who um, has a company, an organization that actually talks about grit, but that one is for children. So uh, indulge me, please, and, and say hello even as you come in. Yeah, so let's learn about grit. And for, like I said, we have about 21 new members who joined this, this month alone. And maybe you do not know me, you do not know the work that I'm doing. So this is what I've decided to do on Friday. I'm going to come in live and I'm going to talk to you about Wairimo. I'm going to talk to you about my work. I'm going to teach you the model that I use to run my business. Um, I have a three prong approach. Like this is one, two, three. These are the three things um, that everybody who comes to my programs must follow. The other thing that I'm going to teach you about is what I call my big five. These are the results that every mother who comes through my program um, yearns to achieve. So, so that if these are wins that you want to have for yourself, then you'll find a place to plug in in the um, Audacity Mentor programs. I would really love that. Otherwise, this is still an awesome place for you to be because I'll be showing up live more often I think we have Chasing Courage, two of them come in the last two of the year. So make sure that you also um, get to listen to other moms and the way they have overcome difficulty, the way they are running their businesses or just stories of inspiration. So that if you're in those positions, then you feel if they can do it and we serve the same God, then I can do it too. And just get strength from somebody else's story because I'm big on personal stories. I actually have a whole program just based on your personal story and being able to see what clues have God left in my personal story that leads towards his calling. So allow me to share my screen even as you say hello, as you come in, I think there's one person in. Um, let me share my screen. Yeah, so it's momentum. It's a momentum moment and it's going to be very, very short. So again, for those I have never met, you're new to me, you've not attended any of my talks. My name is Wairimo, the Audacity Mentor. I am a wife. I am a mom of three children. We have a teenager who is now in class eight. We have a nine-year-old and we have an eight-year-old. So I'm a Christian-based mom mindset and life mentor. So that's really my work. The Audacity Mentor as the name may not say what I do, but really I just help moms work on their thought process because that collection of thoughts builds up into a belief system. And our belief system is the one that uh, lets us say yes to something or no to something. So what happens is we build up all this thought process either by the environment we are in, the friends we hang around, things that we have had, the way we were raised, 
and we believe those thoughts. And what happens is when I present to you something or somebody presents to you an idea, you say no, because you have these limiting beliefs. Now trying to re, you know, break down the walls of the limiting beliefs and building up empowering beliefs. That's what I do. And also to help moms set goals in their life and work towards a life that they really desire to live. And I'll tell you about all these things on Friday. So make sure that you come in on Friday and um, yeah, and just come and hear what it is that I do. I am a natural born encourager. That's like my spiritual gift. I just feel most alive when I'm encouraging people to be who they were created to be. I do not struggle doing that. So if you're just somebody who just needs a sounding board, just needs some encouragement, reach out to me. And I promise you, by the time we leave our session, you feel much better. You feel more energized. I am the founder and lead mentor at the Audacious Mentoring Services. And I'm also an author. I have a book called Wired Weird. And it's all about uh, learning to see the cues and the clues towards your calling. So I can't wait for you to, to read it. So if I was to summarize my calling, this is the way I would put it. I work with particular types of moms. So if this is you, then bring your ears closer, right? So I work with moms who are prioritizing their personal growth, which means they're like, I may not run towards the life that I desire, but I want to learn who I am. I want to build up. I want to know what my calling is. I want to pursue the things of God. I want to help my family financially. I want to open a business. You know, you just want to grow. You don't want to remain in one place uh, for a long time. You want to keep growing. You want to keep growing in your thought process. You want to keep growing in the things that you are pursuing. So moms who are prioritizing their personal growth and I help them then develop and build um, uh, bankable personal or business brands and design a life they desire and that God approves without compromising their faith or their family. So if that describes you completely, then this is the right place for you to hang out. And when I say personal growth, this is what I mean. Personal growth is an intentional, which means you, you really want to. It's not forced on you. You're like, you know what? I just feel like I'm made for more. And usually when God gives you, you know, a strong nudging, don't ignore it. When you're feeling that discomfort and you're just feeling I'm made for more, you know, I can do more. Don't ignore. Those are nudgings that are coming from God because he, he, he's the one who wired you. So he knows that you really are made for more. So listen to those small voices that are talking to you and embark on a personal growth journey. So personal growth is an intentional, incremental, which means you're never the same. You just keep growing. You're like, okay, I've mastered that. Let me move on to the next stage. And like I told you, I'll share with you the big five so that you know what moms in the, um, the Audacity uh, family are working towards. So it's an incremental inside out journey towards a life of transformation and fulfillment. And transformation can mean many things, can be in heart transformation, mind transformation, body transformation, spirit transformation, can be many, many things. So it depends on what your goals are at this moment in time and living in that place of fulfillment because when Jesus came he came so that we may have life and have it in abundance so those who are in please say hello so that I can give you a shout out so this is our verse for today that I want to encourage you even as we begin the week um, and this is Hebrews 10 verse 36 and it says for you have need of patience enduring to bear up under difficult circumstances without compromising so that when you have carried out the will of God, you may receive and enjoy to the full what is promised. For you have need of patient endurance to bear up under difficult circumstances without compromising. So that when you have carried out the will of God, you may receive and enjoy to the full what is promised. And like I said, I just want to encourage you to maybe tap on grit this week as something that will push you, will give you momentum to reach your goals and to design this life that you desire. And this verse was particularly important because the Jewish Christians at that time was being, were being persecuted and they were being encouraged that, listen, just hold on to faith, just stay patient, just endure, that, just persevere because, listen, the will of God will be carried out and you will receive and enjoy to the full what he has promised. So when we are talking about grit, and you're going to see this later, 
it's all about what are you holding on to because you cannot have grit if you have nothing to hold on to. This, the Jewish Christians who are being persecuted were holding on to the promise and the actualization of the will of God. What about you? What's making you hold on? You know, as moms, I think our children are always the first priority, but maybe apart from your children, maybe you have personal goals that you want to explore as an individual. And in all my programs, I talk to the individual, the mother, the person behind the role mom, the person behind the role wife, the person behind the role daughter, the person behind the, the role friend. So you have all these many roles, but who are you and what are you holding on to? What's the greatest why? What's your strong why that keeps pushing you and pushing you and pushing you? So that's what we are going to talk about. So what is grit when we are talking about the word grit? So I'm going to share with you, I'm sure there are many definitions, but the one that we're going to work with today is that grit is doing what you don't want to do to be what you want to be, doing what you don't want to, to do so that, you, so that you, you become what you want to be. And I highlighted the part to be because we are human beings. So like an action word, we are always evolving. We are always growing and you, you, can't, you can't stop the growth because you, if you're stagnating, I promise you, you're going to feel uncomfortable. So you have to do something about it. We were born to be curious. We were born to evolve, not to stagnate. So the question would be then, who do you want to be? What do you want to do? What do you want to achieve? What do you want to have in your life? Hi, Monica. Thank you so much for coming, dear. Um, yeah, so what, what do you want? Who do you want to be? You know, I want to be able to help thousands and thousands of moms to be able to change their mindset and design a life that they desire and that God approves even without compromising their faith or their family life. Um, and when you look at that, what does it take for me to be able to reach all those mothers? It means I have to keep showing up to think, what do moms need? that I can offer them through the giftings that God has given me. Greet is doing what you don't want to do to be what you want to be. And I'll tell you this, you know, I'm an introvert. I'm very shy, really. But I know that I'm called for to help mothers. And to, to be able to help mothers, I have to show up. I have to do the lives. I have to do the videos. I have to have conversations. I love one-on-one -on -one conversations and smaller groups. In fact, all my classes are smaller groups. But you know what? I had to break the shell of the limiting belief that you, can, you must be an introvert, that to be an introvert, you can't show up on video. That was big for me to break down those walls and say, I'll show up live. In fact, one person told me, no, Irimo, you're being selfish because if you have a gift to share with people and you have this limiting belief that you're saying, I can't cross to the lives, I can't cross to show up on video because I'm an introvert, that's holding me back. It's holding up the transformation that you would offer people through your gifting. So what about you? Even as you come in, you can share, you know, what do you feel that you're refusing to do because you just feel it is too much for me to do. But yet, when you do it, the person you become on the other side, the things that you want are on the other side. You know, grit, it's about saying, you know what, I'm not going to be comfortable, but I'm going to do it because I know on the other side it will be better. The other side will be better. The Jewish Christians were holding on because they knew there is a big promise that God was giving them. They knew that the will of God was carrying in it a full life. And if they needed to suffer for that moment, however it took for that moment, just so that they enjoy the big promise and the full life that God was offering them, they persevered, they had patient endurance. So what do you need this week to have patient endurance for so that you become the, the lady that you're supposed to be, to have the things in your family that you have always desired without compromising your faith? or your family. And that's what grit is about. Grit is about knowing I can do this. I can do this, but it's going to be hard and taking uncomfortable actions. The bold audacious moms, which is what we call ourselves. Um, we have this mantra called dear, dear, dear. Do it afraid, do it authentic, do it anyway. Do it afraid, do it authentic. 
do it anyway. And the reason that mantra is important for us is because we acknowledged we are going to take uncomfortable action. We are afraid to take it, but we must. But the way we are going to take that step is being authentic, being ourselves, being who God created us to be. And we are going to do it anyway. So what do you need to dear, dear, dear this week? Where do you need to have grit? Where do you need to tap into grit? What do you want on the other side of uncomfortable action? That's what you need to do this week. So these are some of the things that you can do so that you maintain momentum and, and tap onto grit. Number one, stick to what is important. You know, there are so many, we call them in coaching, shiny objects. Just when you're getting focused, something else comes that looks better. And so you're always, you never focus, you never compete because there are all these shiny objects that are coming your way that are causing you to be distracted. This week, stick to what is important because remember there's something you want on the other side of your action. So be clear, what do I want on the other side of the action? Of the, action? the Jewish Christ Christians wanted to be free. They wanted to enjoy God's promises and they hung to pat patiently and, and, and they endured uh, the persecution just because they knew what is on the other side. So stick to what is important. If right now as a mother, what is important is raising your young children, stick to what is important. Even if you see your friends evolving, pro getting promotions, starting businesses and having all these things that deep down you really desire, stick right now to what is important because one day you'll have that as well. But right now, stick to what you desire and you know is important. Number two, we'll, we'll fall, yeah? Uh, part of endurance and persevering is knowing there are times when I'll try to do something and I might fail. And fail is not a bad word. Fail just gives you feedback. Then you know, okay, so that's the place I need to tweak the next time I'm restarting. So you need to bounce back. When you have a setback and challenge, don't sit. You know, our small babies, because I'm talking to moms, when they are learning to walk, they fall and we laugh at them. <laughs> they, they fall but they get back up again. And who makes them get back up again? You and me, their mothers. So if we cannot allow our children to refuse to walk because they've fallen, we must also do it in real life. Whenever we are trying to walk in whatever newness we are going into, when we fall, get back up again. And if you need a support system, get it. Because we are our children's support system. Who is your support system? And then the goals that you have set for yourself, the plans that you have set to, for yourself, follow through on those. Don't give an excuse. Because remember, when you have grit, it means that you're doing what you don't want to do. But then you become the person that you're supposed to be and have the things that you desire to be. So what do you need to follow through this week? How do you need to bounce back this week if there are any challenges? My prayer is that there aren't any, but should they come that you bounce back? What do you need to stick to that is so important and critical for you? Because those are the things that you need to do so that you have grit. Remember, for you to, to keep bouncing back, for you to stick to what's important, for you to follow through means that you have a strong why. What's your strong why? And every week you can decide to create a strong why for yourself. That this week for me is to help um, the new people who have just joined the Audacity Mentor page. I want you to get to know me and I want you to get to know my work. That's the big thing for me this week. And I'm holding on that even if I need to take uncomfortable actions, I will take it. And listen, ladies, if you're there and this is resonating with you and you just feel, I don't know how to stick to it. I don't know how to bounce back. I don't know how to, I don't even have goals and plans. If that is, you just reach out. I do that so easily and I've helped other moms be able to create the plans. So, um, so I just want to encourage you, even as I close, um, that this Friday I'll be talking about, you know, me and my work, the work that I've been able to do with moms. And then you'll be able to see, okay, so right now, in what she has explained, this is the place I feel I can best plug into. So I have three, um, what I call them like growth areas. So you're either getting started on your personal growth journey, you're either growing, like you're in the growing phase, like now you know who you are, you know what it is that you want in life. So now you're executing your plans or you're in the soaring where you're so clear what who you are, what you want. And now you're just building up and enjoying those incremental shifts 
and growth. So it, I'll tell you a little bit about that on Friday so that you can know where to plug in. You can be able to discover where you are. I'll show you my model. I'll show you the big five wins that I desire for all mothers. And then you see that's what you want for yourself. Then I would love, 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 love to have the honor of mentoring and coaching you in your personal growth. So even as I conclude, um, I just want to remind you um, that when you have God on your side, you don't have to do this alone. That's why we have God, so that you don't do this alone. Yeah, hang on to him. The, is, the Jewish Christians, hang on to God, hang on to his promises. What about you? What are you hanging on to? While you have a strong why, remember, tap on God's strength. Um, there's something that I learned in high school, and I know it, it must be a quote that's, that, that is known by many. And it, it used to say that you and me, God, yeah, we can do big things. And I know every morning when I wake up, I'm like, okay, God, you and me, we're going to do big things today. And big does not have to be big in the eyes of other people. It's just big to me. Why? Because to have grit, you have to do things that you do not want to do so that you get what you want to have and who you need to be. So thank you so much, ladies. I'm so excited. Please come on Friday. I think it will be at 9.30, going 10, 10 o'clock, most likely, so that you get to know me a little bit better. And welcome again for all my new friends. Thank you for hanging out with me in this live conversation. And for those who are going to watch the replay, please hashtag replay, share what the take home is and have grit this week and I'm cheering on for you. My name is Oerimo, the Audacity Mentor. So excited um, to work with you and to encourage you even as the week begins. So God bless you. God bless you abundantly.